yeah, yeah, I studied art at uh, Ruskin School in, in Oxford. Then I did postgraduate studies at the Slade School of Fine Art in London. Um, and I won a DAD scholarship to the Kunstakademie Düsseldorf, where I stayed for four years. Um, and then finished the whole thing by doing one year at the Rijksakademie in Amsterdam. I was making very different work then. It was both photograph based, it was installation based. Um, and I had a, an epiphany and decided that I wanted to um, make something that um, explored historical themes. because I was making time-based work and I would make paintings that uh, lasted only one day, precisely one day, or one lunar cycle. And then I thought, well, I'll make a painting that lasts one year. But th th these were abstract works. Um, but that it just wasn't possible to uh, sustain an idea over that period of time. So I began looking at um, topographical landscapes that were packed with uh, incident and detail and information and I thought yes you know you probably could but obviously after a short period of time I realized that the time-based part of that wasn't really valid and it, um, the nature of reinterpreting a 17th century or 18th century vision into a contempt with contemporary narratives was was you know taking over and that's when I really began to look. I mean, the, the, this series of works are slightly atypical. I don't do many of them. Uh, largely, I do um, classical landscapes you know, based on Claude Lorraine or uh, Jacob von Reisdale. So these are a little bit different. But I'm intrigued by them because of their vanitas elements. Um, but I think what they hold in common is a notion that I have that explores the way that ideas travel through time and that the way paintings are read and can never be understood the same way because history changes, context changes. So something that's four centuries old is understood in a very, very different way. For instance, you know, a lot of the information might be, um, m might be fairly obscure now. In, in one painting there is a snake um, which four centuries ago would have been easily read as a symbol for sin and on its back is a butterfly which would have been understood as a symbol for the soul and the snake is um, has its mouth open and is trying to eat, eat the butterfly you know and that intrigues me that um, something that was loaded with me with a very de definite code is now just an image it, it's quite an empty an empty image. You know, this, this vanitas imagery was, you know, it's highly visually laden with meaning, strictly codified, and it had very specific interpretations. Um, and the thing that intrigued me was that um, it, it's sort of closed off now. It's closed off. Um, it, it's kind of like dead. You know, so there was an impulse to reintroduce to, to use it as a framework to hang other um, other ideas in. There's a bust of Hegel in there. Um, I was sort of re interested in the re-readings of Hegelian thought at the moment that, that's going on, especially his notion of uh, time and change, um, whether it's... Um, I mean, it, some of them have a lot to do with the early modernism and the, the sort of violence of, 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 the, of that process of uh, the emergence of modernism. You know, in, in, this, in this painting, there are, there are stills from films, and it's a film called Peeping Tom by Michael Powell. Um, and it's an interesting thing because it's a, it's a dead image in a way. It's a still from a film within a film. And there's a, although ostensibly it's a, it's a pleasant home movie, in fact, it's quite a violent, unpleasant image. They aren't really supposed to uh, create linear narratives at all. I mean, in some instances, the, the images are intended to collide. They're 
they can be absurd. I mean, this is just a kind of an absurd molecule on top of a modernist, you know, a Ben Nicholson style plinth. Um, and, and it sort of predates, um, it, it predates an understanding maybe even of, of, of molecular. So it's like a reaching out, a scientific reaching out um, that, um, I mean, a, a lot of it to do is like with hope, failure, uh, ambition, and, and the way that those things collapse.